So I originally uh, found almond at Walter Reed. When I was originally diagnosed, I was in the military. I was actually in Oklahoma and I transferred from Oklahoma to Walter Reed. And almond actually has a young adult program, patient navigation program at Walter Reed. You know, my first couple weeks there, the patient navigator, Megan Fitzgibbons, she uh, came up and met me there and just let me know about the group. At first, I really wasn't ready for the group. So in those first six months I was on chemo, I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to crawl in my hole and, you know, figure it out. So about seven, eight months after I was diagnosed, what I did is I actually visited a buddy's grade. We went to ranger school together and we shared an office together in Germany. We were stationed in Germany together. And then we deployed and he, uh, he was killed in his first couple of days of deployment. He was one of those very charismatic guys, always had a smile on his face. And I just sat at his grave and I started thinking like, where would, what would he be doing with his life? He wouldn't be sitting down and just going about how I was. He didn't have the chance to have a life. I'm still here, I'm still living. There's no reason why I shouldn't be making more of it. I was just feeling sorry for myself and it wasn't a place I've ever been before in my life. It really opened my eyes, uh, caused me to have a new perspective on life. And that was really the first step I took to regaining my life. And that kind of gave me the courage to start getting involved with the almond cancer group. Once I saw that first group, it was like, you know what, this is for me. Like I, this is something I've been missing and this could really help give me the connection I need. So you always hear this thing about being isolated and you know, almonds about not letting anyone go through it alone. And that's really the first time I really learned and accepted that that was for real.